I was so not ready to leave. Good morning guys, how are we? New week and it's just occurred to me that this is, this is gonna be one of the last times I make something in this kitchen. I'm not here for very much longer now, so everything kind of feels new again in a weird way. Look what I got sent the other day. <laughs> Anyone that knows me knows how much I love butter. <laughs> this is possibly the funniest delivery I have ever received in my life. <laughs> I love butter. Thank you so much. See you tonight. Bye. I just booked dinner for tonight. I'm going out with Shelly. I have a really busy day today, guys. The builders are moving at lightning speed and I have not got my skates on. So I have a huge hit list of fabric shops, design shops that I want to go to today. Luckily, they're all kind of in the same area. So let's go do that. I have so many fabric swatches that I need to go and feel, see need to think about curtains, need to think about a headboard, need to think about flooring. We've got a big list of stuff going on today. There's also a Revolve parcel that I want to get that I accidentally got delivered to my sisters. And there was something else on my hit list today. Oh, I want to go get my eyebrows done and go to the office and go to the new house. Woo! We got a day. We got a day. I have something very exciting to tell you because this is a big, big full circle moment for me working with this brand on this video. In this box is my order from Monica Vinader. Ah, I'm so excited. Oh, there's a little card in here. I haven't opened it. They always have the most beautiful wrapping. I've been a fan of Monica Vinader for as long as I can remember really. I love their pieces, I feel like they're so, so timeless. And I've loved seeing their classic pieces change over the years and how they come up with new kind of adaptations of them. I feel like it's just such a staple jewelry brand that everyone knows and everyone loves. So I'm thrilled to be working with them on this video. I'm gonna show you what I picked from their website. I have so many of their pieces. Picking something new is really exciting. Oh look, look at this. 100% recycled gold and silver jewelry, fully recyclable packaging, carbon neutral delivery. That's great. Okay, let me show you what's in here. I actually have a 20% off Monica Vinader code and an edit page, which is so cool. So I'll leave that on the screen, but let me show you what I ordered first. I got quite a few things in here. Oh, very exciting. I haven't ordered from them for such a long time, but their packaging what's in here first oh my god look at this ring you guys know I love rings the most oh this sits really nice and flush on the finger actually this is called the cross ring in gold I love how thick it is and it's actually quite domed as well I love how this is the first thing I've unboxed because that was actually the thing I was most excited about then what else do we have oh my gosh these are so cool these are called disco hoops. They are these ridge edged hoop earrings. Let me take out the hoops I have in now and put these in. I'm gonna wear these today. I actually don't own hoops this size. I feel like this is a really great everyday layering hoop. What do we think of the little disco hoops? Aren't they amazing? They're a really good dainty hoop. But if you want a bigger kind of hoop that still looks dainty, these are perfect. I've got quite a good stack going on on this ear and this works so well with them. These are such a great hoop. Ooh, another box. Ooh, you know me, you know I love a snake chain. This is the snake chain necklace. Ooh, it's actually quite long. It's got a really cool clasp at the front. You can see this up close now. I love how it looks over a top like this. I feel like it works really well, but if I wanted to pull this down, you can see the clasp. I think it's such a unique clasp, actually. I've never seen a clasp like that before. I think this looks beautiful. Look how shiny the gold is as well. I feel like there's another necklace in this box. Crown a lot in this box, don't they? Oh, yeah. This is really similar to something my grandma has that I love. 
and I've been trying to find. Oh, which is really funny because I just looked at the name online and it's called the Heirloom Necklace. And it's literally it's such a similar chain to something my grandma has. It kind of sits really flat. Look how amazing this is. Isn't that so cool, the way it sits? I feel like it's just so unique. This is something that I've been looking for for a really long time. It's like a combination of a snake and a chain necklace. It sits flat like a snake, but it's so special. All these links joined together. Ooh, ooh yeah, that's cool. Okay, we got a few more. Can I tell you something really special about the Monica Vinita chains? And I feel like they really were the ones that started this is that they're adjustable, so you can pull the chain to make it shorter or longer. So if you get a really long chain like this, but actually decide you want it to sit more high on the neck, or even as a choker, you can just keep pulling and the chain gets shorter and shorter and shorter. I feel like that is something that is such a feature that's so unique to them that I think is so, so, so clever. This is called the Disco Diamond Necklace. It has little ridge effect with a diamond right in the middle. I love their ridge effect. I feel like it looks so luxurious. I've put this on a longer chain. You can totally alter it to your desire, but I think it sits quite well with these other two necklaces today. Okay, I have a few more things to show you. I have two more rings and one pair of earrings that I think I'm gonna wear tonight. This ring is really, really special. It's one of my favorite stones. It's a lapis lazuli. I love the intense, deep blue of these stones. Can you see how beautiful that is? Like that is just so unique. Like it's so intensely blue. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous stone. Oh, I, it's almost mesmerizing. Like I speak slower when I look at it. Then I also got this ring, which is really thin, really dainty. Kind of nice to layer with this larger piece and it matches my earrings. Okay, I've saved the best till last. You guys are gonna love these. These would look so cool at a black tie event or even which is how i'm gonna probably wear them tonight t-shirt jeans biker boots biker jacket and these aren't they incredible look how cool they are Woo! mamma mia these are amazing i'm obsessed okay i'm gonna wear these tonight i'm gonna leave the code on the screen for 20% off. So if you wanna get 20% off, you can use this code. It works on all Monica Vinader pieces. And there's also an edit, an Amelia Liana edit. So you can see my favorite pieces from the Monica Vinader website. Now let me show you my outfit of the day and we can get shopping. Outfit of the day, I pulled out this old little acne jacket that I actually bought from a secondhand shop um, that's quite near me. And I bought this maybe four or five years ago even. And I've totally, honestly forgot about it. It was kind of sat in my cupboard. I don't wear leather jackets that often, but at the moment I'm in a really leather jackety kind of mood. And I felt like it went really well with this little two piece, this top and this skirt that I got from Isabel Moran last year. I'm wearing my new Dior bag with it as well. And also got my little Dior trainers on too. Just me and my folder having a great time. Got all my fabrics in here. I look like a real happy little nerd, don't I? Here we are, the heavenly, heavenly, heavenly first place to stop. I feel like I do know all their fabrics off by heart, but let's see where we get to. Wallpaper heaven. I'm getting samples of this little blue one here and what I used to have, but in pink. So quiet and peaceful in here. You can get an idea of all their different fabrics and everything. I love these lampshades. That is really sweet. That lampshade I just showed you is one of their new fabrics, which is this one here. It's so beautiful. I love it, like all the tiny little flowers. Aren't they special? And next up, for fabrics, 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 we're going in here. Giant wall of fabrics. Pick two potential sofa colors and lampshade heaven. And lastly, on this little strip, Chelsea Textiles. This is interesting because I'm going for a little green theme in my lounge area. I love the gray trim on this carpet, but I think this is a bit too olive for me, but it just makes me see how much I love greens. Chelsea Textiles have the best animal fabrics. Look how cute these are. Hold on, hold on. Not the friendliest reception in Chelsea Textiles, and I think, <laughs> They were too keen on me vlogging and there was a bit awkward, but they did give me two little fabric swatches that I'm going to show you in the car, which are the cutest things ever. 
trying to figure out how I can have flying pigs in my house. An embroidered flying pig. <laughs> Went a bit off course there. But they have the cutest pillows. I put in some pictures. I took some pictures. Their pillows, their embroidered pillows are just so special. I've got quite a big hit list to get through today. And next up on my list is a real if you know you know situation. It is Gournay wallpaper. It's the prettiest, prettiest wallpaper of life. I think they actually have it in some of the Bridgerton scenes apparently. I haven't actually watched Bridgerton. Don't ask. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so special. The wisteria. Oh my gosh. The most beautiful showroom. This is both Wow. Yeah. And next up is Colfax and Fowler. I have a couple of fabrics in here that I am after. I think they're so beautiful. Now that I'm back, let me show you my little folder of everything. This is a little sewn fabric and wallpaper I had something similar of in my bathroom, but I just love this green color. I actually went in for the blue, but I just <laughs> saw the sage green and I really, really preferred it. Let me know what you guys think. They only do it, the green in a really thin linen, not in this thick, and I kind of prefer the color but oh, I do really like the blue. They also had this on a lampshade which I thought was really beautiful. It looked so gorgeous on the lampshade. I think I showed it to you when I was there actually and also this looked really great on a lampshade too. These are ones that I've got from Philippa in her stash. This one, this one, she has the best stash of different fabrics. That one was from Philippa. This one was from Philippa. This I love, she showed me a picture of it on a chair. This she showed me these on an ottoman. And I was like, oh, it looks so good on an ottoman. So she gave me these. This is new. This is kind of my ideal color for a sofa. Maybe slightly lighter, but I didn't love the white running through. But when we draped a big bit of it all over the sofa, you couldn't really tell. But a light sage sofa would be ideal. This I have in my downstairs toilet at the moment. But this is just the yellow and blue version. I just think it's so fun. That was also from Philippa. Oh, this one is, what's this one? Oh, this is something, another option for the sofa, but I actually think it's too dark. I think this is from Colfax and Fowler. Let me see, yeah, Colfax and Fowler. This is beautiful, 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 beautiful. It wasn't the exact sample that I wanted. I have a picture of the exact sample, but I think it's so gorgeous. I think something like drapes, it could be really nice. This is actually my ideal kind of sofa fabric, something a bit hardier than this, I think. This looked really gorgeous on a nice lampshade, this blue. I thought that could look really pretty in the bedrooms. That was from Femoy. I got a bit distracted in Chelsea Textiles. I put this on my Instagram stories because <laughs> I just thought this pig was the cutest thing ever. I got really distracted and um, I was uh, actually in the children's section and I was too embarrassed. Like the guy was like, do you want a swatch of that? And I was too embarrassed to be like, actually, I d I'm not even doing a, a kid's bedroom. So I, d I just said yes and I think I'm just going to keep it and enjoy it because <laughs> it's so sweet. But then also this on a pillow would be so cute. These little strawberries, aren't they sweet? They're all like hand embroidered. It's gorgeous. And then this is the de Gournay wallpaper new collection but I actually wasn't such a huge fan of their new collections I kind of prefer their more older classics this was amazing but this is all like hand embroidered with beaded on wallpaper and I thought that was a bit much that's kind of what it looked like but as you know I am a wallpaper obsessed person but I just didn't love any of them to be honest like met any of the new collections this was Probably one of the ones I like the most and you can change the colors. I still didn't love, love, love it. This one I actually did think was really sweet. The colony is what it's called. Mainly because I just like the pinks with the blue, with the greens. I like different animals. I feel like I've had a lot of birds in my bedroom now from De Gournay, but Flamingo is kind of different and like the little monkeys are cute too. Got a little parrot going on in there. Good evening, everyone. I told you I was gonna wear these earrings with some great gold jewelry and a t-shirt and leather pants tonight. Well, I wasn't sure about jeans and leather jacket, but I've gone with leather pants because it's actually quite a nice warm evening. These are my favorite leather pants at the moment. They were in the Net-a-Porter sale. However, 
they actually sold out, but I actually bought mine on Revolve. I spent too long dilly-dallying on if I should get them on Net Quarter and then I ended up getting them not on sale but on Revolve. So I'll link them down below because they're so comfortable and especially if you're short like me, they're really great. But look at these earrings. Ah, oh, they're so cool. I just feel like they look so glam with a t-shirt and other pants. I feel like it looks really cool. And now I'm gonna go for dinner with Shelly, who I love. Let's go. I'm actually really hungry. Snacking before we go. People hate it when I talk with my mouth full. I can understand why. Let's roll. Uh, guys, you know when you meet people and you're just so full of gratitude that that person came into your life? Shelly is one of those people. Shelly I met when my engagement ended and we've stayed close ever since. That was two years ago now and I'm so grateful because if my engagement didn't end I probably wouldn't have met her. She is one of the most spectacular people ever. If you don't know Shelly you can go and follow her on Instagram. I'll put her username on the screen. We actually did a couple of podcast episodes together and she is an award-winning coach. She's a relationship coach. She does broken hearts and bereavement but mainly broken hearts and relationships, relationship ending, new relationships, all different stages. She's coming out with a product very soon and it is going to be unbelievable. I've had the absolute privilege of getting a little preview. Well, not a preview, like a, a proper run through, testing run through. And it is going to change the game in terms of transitioning relationship endings. Oh my goodness. As soon as it comes out, I'll let you know. But at the moment before it launches, if you're looking for free advice, go to her Instagram page, go and watch some of her videos she has on her Instagram. It's only a slight smithereen of what she actually does and what she's capable of. She is just made of magic. I mean, when I was telling her at dinner, I just said how grateful I was for her and I was trying not to cry in the middle of the restaurant. I'm just so excited for people to be able to get her, their hands on her new product because what she shares and the knowledge that she shares is unlike this product is unlike anything else on the market. The reason why I wanted to do the podcast in the first place was because I felt like there wasn't any information or any sort of like friend, friends online, anything to help someone go through the ending of a relationship. And what she's coming out with is so revolutionary for that specific topic. Oh my gosh, it's going to be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. So as soon as it's out there, I will let you know. But she, that woman, I bow down to her. <laughs> I seriously bow down to her. Anyway, that was a really lovely dinner. I didn't vlog pretty much anything at dinner because we were just talking. I haven't seen her in so, so, so long. And all of a sudden I was like, oh, okay. You know me, like, you know I'm really good at like vlogging, like dinners and things like that. Like I never get really shy of vlogging in public, but that was like blah, 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 so much talking and so much. She's one of those people like she has so much knowledge and wisdom inside her that when I'm with her I just want to soak it all up like a sponge and ask her every single question under the sun. Now back to my puppy. Good morning. It is another beautiful sunny day in London. I'm going to the Me and M store on the King's Road to go and have a look around their new collection. I'm actually wearing one of my favorite Me and M blazers and I've tied my hair up which I never really do so you can see these earrings in their full glory. It's so bright and sunny that I can't even see you. Oh wow, look, they have a Chelsea in bloom display. It's the Chelsea flower show right now. When you come into the Me and M store, everything is always laid out to absolute perfection. This is some of, still the summer season. I think this, this is actually a September jacket, which is just so gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, I mean that, that shade is just so beautiful with the kind of rusty gold hardware. It's stunning. And I've also got my eye. I mean, I just got distracted with this, but I also have my eye on this, which is so beautiful. The unique thing about me and M is the shades they pick, the colors, 
are just so gorgeous. It's not picking up on camera how green this is actually, which is a bit annoying. And then down here is all the latest and greatest. Look at this. I wish you could feel how soft this is. It literally feels like butter. Got a nice little cardigan. I have something similar to this in purple, which I wore last year. Every time I wear something me and M, I always get comments on it. Another little cardigan. Look at their buttons. Like their details are just incredible. I also just love how they style everything and put everything together. Like this, for example. Look how great that looks together. You've got the little girly detail here on the sleeves with the little vest. But then actually, this is one of my favorite pieces. Let me show you around here. This is one of my favorite me and M combinations. Oh, here it is. It's this box jumper, which I have in cream, which I definitely need in more colors. I love it because it's a little hoodie and the buttons are kind of hidden. And then if you just pair that with a blazer, it's like casual, but cool, but I don't care, but I kind of do. I've gone from wearing a really girly bright pink look to a gray tonal look. What do you guys think of these jeans on me? They are so soft, so soft. They're literally buttery, buttery smooth. But I've never worn jeans this baggy before. Hannah would be really proud of this look on me because she's always saying my jeans are too tight and too skinny. I feel like these are really cool. I don't know if it's because they're so soft or what, but I freaking love them. Guys, I've changed my lipstick because I have a lunch meeting and I just thought I don't want to be constantly thinking about my lipstick. But I actually wanted to put on some perfume. I've got actually a lot of questions about how I've changed my makeup up recently and I haven't changed it up that much, but maybe tomorrow I'll show you. I'm really liking Killian Woman in Gold at the moment. This is my fragrance of choice. Today, ah, oh, bathe myself in it. I'm wearing right now this by Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Kiss. My camera always wants to focus on her. <laughs> I think it really likes her ass. <laughs> this is in the shade two. It's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Nice nude. A classic AL nude. These earrings are just incredible, aren't they? They're so cool. I think they work really well with an ear stack. Oh, I decided that my neck felt too bare and I was gonna put on a necklace, but I think I'm not gonna wear the matching necklace to the earrings because I feel like it might be a bit too much. So let's put this on here. I'm gonna go to the house and go to the office. That's my plan of attack today. God, I love me a snake chain. There's something about a snake chain that is really sexy. Like really sexy. Hello guys, good morning. I'm doing my makeup in the car today because it's just been one of those mornings. Do you know what I mean? And I'm doing it all backwards. I'm starting with my lips here. Starting with, oh, that isn't, no, great. And I don't have a sharpener. <sighs> one of those days continues. Do we think I can do my lip liner with the nubbin? Oh, it's IT, you know, it's working, it's working. We're rolling, we're rolling with it, people. This is called firefighting. You just figure it out and come up with the solutions. Oh yeah, ah, oh, done. You never know I did my lip liner with this little nubbin, would you? Just got to the office and all my incredible flooring samples have arrived from alternative flooring. This is what I'm kind of thinking, like a nice wool herringbone in the bedroom because it won't hold anything that spills on it. If Leo comes and pees, not that he does that anymore, but it just looks so great. And you can't tell if it hasn't been hoovered in a while. You can't see any footprints on it, which I love. And then maybe a sizal in the living room something really detailed like this like you can kind of see because the sunlight's on it how incredibly gorgeous it is i just find these look so luxurious i'm just looking over all of the samples whilst by the way trying this new cadbury's caramel thing not i mean i've had half the bag of it but i would not recommend it it is not very good it's very fake tasting, not your best work, Cadbury's, and I am your biggest fan, even though you still haven't made me an ambassador, but no hard feelings. What do we think about my samples? Oh, you can kind of see them a bit better, actually, not in the light. I feel like this is too warm, but maybe it's because I'm comparing it to this, which is quite white. I don't like the two-tone colors of this at all. This week, we've made the most kind of headway on house stuff, and we'll be ordering all sanitary 
items or bathroom things. The plumber's in, the electrician's in. It's all like go, go, go. And there might be a chance that I'll be in sooner than I think. I know when I have to be out of my house now, which it was also sooner than I thought. I was so not ready to leave in a weird way. Like it's an end of an era and I'm gonna get so emotional. I feel like it's, it's like having a first love that you're saying goodbye to, like this house was my first love and I'm not leaving just yet, but it is a big end of an era. <laughs> anyway, I have a really fun week planned. I'm going to a preview screening with Chapard of the new James Bond film, which is going to be really cool. Guy's coming as well. So I was thinking about the renovation plans and I think I might do for all the building work at the moment, because I know everyone likes seeing it, is do one big vlog about it because so much changes so fast that every week I'm just showing you like little tidbits. Also, Follow me on Amelia Leanne Home if you want to see what's going on over there because that's where I post the majority of the stuff first and I've posted, if you want to go see the highlights, I've posted a tour of the main bedroom and I've also posted a tour of the shroom. So I hope you have a wonderful week. I will see you next week with another vlog. You can still shop Monica Vinader pieces with my code and I will leave the link below. Bye guys.